slapping, uh, backhanding. Well, it went from it went from this eggshell kind of you're walking on eggshells, nothing you're doing is kind of right, but you don't know what you're doing wrong. Uh, and then I was doing something wrong clearly, but they were, it was unclear within the scope of an argument what I was defending myself against. So it would shift from uh, a rumor he had heard that I was with um, my a friend or I had been photographed standing too close to a male person. That was a person I'd have a, an, I had had something with and I was lying to him about and the, it would be egg, it would be eggshells, accusations, accusations, and then he would explode. Um, it started with throwing things, um, uh, destroying the property and screaming at me. I remember the screaming at me was the worst because I kind of always felt like I had done, you know, I had to defend myself. I had to tell him I, so he didn't think these things were true. And sometimes, you know, I, he would shift accusations while I'm trying to dispel one accusation. He'd start another one and, um, nothing I could do to calm him down. It seemed like I'd walk away and that would make it worse. Um, I remember he, in my apartment in Orange, it would, he would grab me by the hair or he'd grab me by the arm, face, pull me into him, scream at me that way. He'd smash things around me. Then he would smash things very close to me. And then he would just hit me. And it started with slapping um, and it got to be like repetitive slaps where he'd hold me um, in a position and slapped me multiple times um, in a row. Uh, then it would be, you know, eventually I later would either push him off of me or I'd try to hit his hands away from me. I tried it not in 2012 so much. At that time, I was mostly, um, my defense was, uh, I'd go some other place. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how to describe that. It was, I'd focus on something else. I'd stand up look at him, try to stand up to him that way. Later, I adopted other kind of strategies to deal with it. But at the time, in 2012, it was, he'd have this blowout and then he would leave, disappear. And he would, I'd be committed to not talking to him. I'm done with this relationship. I can't take it anymore. I said that so many times. And then he'd come back clean and sober, telling me either he had a chip he didn't have any chips, but he would say, I've, I've gone to meetings. I have a, I have a, a sober companion now. Um, I'm doing this program. I'm reading this. I'm doing this. And he was done with drugs and alcohol for good this time. And he'd come back in my life. And with the combination of him being sober and having gone through this horrible thing where I felt like my heart ripped out of my chest, you know, like a relationship ending is hard. I think for anyone, but ending under that circumstance is really painful. And so when he'd come back, it would almost feel like a solve, a solution to that. And it would feel great and we would be good again. And it would be, he'd be extra nice and extra apologetic and extra loving. And it would just, then we'd be back in, in, in the good bubble, the warm glow. And eventually it'd get bored. And then I'd see him drinking again. Um, when I started to get upset, noticing the pattern um, of the violence going with the, the drinking and drugs, then I, then he started sneaking it. So it became less clear and I'd have to look for clues as to what he was on. So I just knew how to react, you know? Uh, Johnny on speed is very different from Johnny on opiates. Uh, Johnny on opiates, very different from Adderall and, 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 and cocaine Johnny, which is very different from Quaaludes Johnny. But I, I had to get good at paying attention to the different versions of him. Uh, 2012, I was, in, um, I was in the beginning stages of this, just learning these patterns. I was just learning that drinking kind of correlated with the violence. And did you confide in anyone about these issues you were having? I think she Objection, can say. Hearsay. She, I, I think she can say if she told anybody. As long as she can say what she said. Right, right. So did you can, did you tell anyone? Yes, I did. Who did you tell? I told my therapist. I told. I eventually told my mom. 
And let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Defendant's Exhibit 150. One fifty, one five zero. Your Honor, I'm going to object on hearsay. <laughs> 